local residents are keeping close tabs on their relatives that are in the hurricane evacuation zone. Today, I spoke to people being evacuated on the East Coast, as well as their loved ones here who are worried about them. Cal State University Channel Islands Hi, professor Kiki is Patch is keeping in close contact with her family in Florida and North Carolina. And while I'm here in sunny California, watching Hurricane Matthew and looking at this incredible storm uh, hit the East Coast, all I can think about is my family. Patch's family lives directly in Hurricane Matthew's path. Despite being under a mandatory evacuation, they tried to wait out the storm. We chose to stay rather than evacuate because we had two goats, chickens, dogs, birds, cats, you name it, we had it. And Molly was very adamant, we either go together or we stay together. Despite wanting to stay, the situation was becoming increasingly dangerous. Patch's family did what they could to protect their goats and chickens, and then they packed up their other animals and headed about 20 miles inland. We just evacuated. The rain's coming down really heavily right now, but the worst of the storm will not be on us until this evening. Right now we're getting a lot of rain. We just got a report in Hilton Head that there is water in our yard, unfortunately, due to high tide, not a storm surge. As they wait out the storm, their son, Patch's brother, Dr. Brandon Runyon, is treating patients while his hospital is under lockdown in Daytona, Florida. The majority of the storm has passed and we're doing okay. Patients are being cared for and everything is in order. I have been glued to my phone and the computer all day long, just watching the storm and wondering if their houses are going to survive and if they really are going to have anything to go back home to. So my heart goes out to everybody on the East Coast. Patch's family.